Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here is your weekly technical analysis of New York and London coffee markets. I'll start with New York coffee. The recent moves higher throughout January have been dictated by two bullish patterns and possibly a third nascent one. Now, the mid-September 2021 uptrend, currently at 240.45, has run this market higher in cooperation with the parallel rising short-medium moving average, currently 238.65, and more recently, the lower time, currently 237.60, of the November 2021 to start of January 2022 bullish shift pitchfork. This lower time has now been running parallel to the short-medium moving average, and especially the uptrend, all this year. Then we have a possible new pattern, or rather, we had a potential new pattern, which has morphed into another new pattern. It is now the December 2021 to early February 2022 bullish cup with handle pattern. Most of the action was the cup, with the handle formed between mid-January to early February. This pattern gives a potential target X in the 270 and a quarter area. Looking now more closely at the last few weeks' action, you can see how the market has basically kept in between the lower time below and the middle time currently at 258.30 above this pitchfork seems to be giving a good account of itself as the bullish angle of attack of this market so please pay special attention to these times london coffee so mid-january saw the market being held up by the slowly rising short medium moving average currently at 2235 However, at the turn of January into February, this was tested and the short medium moving average gave way under the onslaught of a weekly key reversal down. However, the move down was not sustained and two weeks ago the market reacquired the short medium moving average as support. Yet by this time, the overall rising market had run up enough to meet some significant resistances that capped and now have started to pressure the market lower and once more test the short medium moving average. They are... The overhead flatlining medium moving average, currently at 22.68. And perhaps most, more, well, more interestingly, the 2017 high at 22.79. So what have we below the short medium moving average that can act as support? Well, we have the well publicized congestion band between roughly 2095 to 2175, dating from mid-September and October last year, which aided the due. June 2017 high at 2177, the August 2017 high at 2173 in holding the market up in late January. We also have the April 2021 today uptrend currently at 2165 and the 50% Fibonacci on the August to December 2021 move at 2064. Now, personally, I don't rate the former that well and the latter is an untested entity. However, as I said two weeks ago, and I quote, the overhang of supply overhead is quite considerable now. Uh, and of course, I would like to look. I would have to look at my comments from three. I would like to look at my comments from three weeks ago when I said and quote again. I suspect that a better support band exists below, dating from the middle of 2021 as well as 2017. It also has a number of Fibonacci levels in there as well. This band is between 1945 and 20, uh, 2005. The only other support of note is a two-pointer underwhelming April 21, 2021 today uptrend, which is not that impressive. End of quote. I mean, even then I was thinking uptrend is not that impressive. Anyway, this is still the case, though the congestion 2095 to 2175 from last year plus the June 2017 high at 2177 and the August 2017 high at 2173 have done some pretty good work in halting the decline. It'll be interesting to see if prices do once more head lower, drop down and then test these supports. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyrights Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final bit.